do you think how much do you think he's willing to give to be able to be normal and not have a STD because now what I was trying to tell you before like a label can't use you you can't make no whole songs no more like what's what's like you think do you like you finna find out Write in the comment section, do you believe that hoes are still going to want him after knowing he has herpes? A dope boy, the reason why he can still fuck hoes while having AIDS is because that AIDS ain't stopping his money. As an, a rapper, your money depends on the dream the thought in a whole mind that y'all gonna fuck. Every fan feels like y'all gonna get the fuck. Like, I'm, I'm gonna go backstage with him and shit like that. Once that shit dissipates, now the niggas no longer envy you. They don't wanna be you. They wanna be everyone but you. To this. I think for a three, we're gonna get some stuff understood. So, the hot topic of everyone right now is the herpes situation. For one, for him to even tell you guys that, that shows how much he don't care about what y'all think. And to my understanding, um, NBA young boy mama told the world that he had herpes. Um, I don't know how the fuck he got out, but it's out that he, I don't give a fuck. He got herpes and it's known to everybody. Remind me to step on this point right here. That's why both these because both of them got it. This little girl right here, Janaya, the, the girl that he keep beating up, this is probably why he keep beating up. Because he just so mad at no saying what the fuck happened. He's beating her up as if she the one that gave it to him. Now this wouldn't that no saying not it not it it come in context. Don't that kind of make it feel like that's what that is? Like now we see why it's so much violence. Now we see why Kevin Gates got the tattoo of you on his arm because he's so retarded. He really thought when you said you had herpes that you were really finna die. Like, oh shit, nigga, I'll be the first one with goddamn RIP. See, I got my nigga pitch on me. He thought it was old with for you. So he went ahead and repped. So not everything makes sense. Like, but. Remind me to step on that point of this is where that suicide talk come from. It's not all about I'm just so ah uh, no it ain't no emo shit that, that that's cool right now. No, this about some shit that you can't get out of. This about you made a motherfucking in the same shit that she's talking about. That's how much he don't care about what y'all think. No, that's how much he didn't think about what folks was gonna think about him. He didn't think this shit through. However this word got out, which is it had to be by one of y'all. The goddamn clinic ain't do it. So one of y'all did it. It was either you, the mama, or him. Y'all let this word be known to the world. At this point in time, by you letting the world, fuck, like, you know, it's one thing to be the nigga Around the hood. And, and by the way, this Big Face Podcast. I'm the fearless leader, A.O. Canseco. Get your fucking shirts. We're going to go over that in a minute. There's a nigga in your hood that got AIDS right now. It's a nigga in your hood got HIV and shit like that. But hoes still fuck with him because he the brick man. This nigga got, like, he really got the bag. The same way it's a whole, it's a nigga that's a real police. 
a real deal police, but he got sixes on his shit. He stayed at the strip club, you know what I'm saying? And he got the fucking plug. It's niggas who work for the fucking police in the street right now. No, they motherfucking plug is the police. They still fuck with them. Hoes still fuck with them. That's why I'm trying to tell you what the streets is. You cannot, you can't stand for the streets when the streets is never going to stand for you, dog. When I'm telling you, like, fuck where you at in the street, I'm telling you that because you going to say the same thing in about three to four months when everything flipped. Like, right now, it's probably all good. Miley Tail, Perk, good gas on deck. Just like that little dank hole was saying, good gas, good gas. But now everything, you know what I'm saying, is twisted and turned. I guarantee that dyke bitch wish she could watch this shit right now and soak some of it in. But it's a nigga that's known to be sick. And he still got bad light skin bitches. Because no matter how bad that bitch is, that hoe is still a hood rat at my hood rat. Hood rat. I like that She's still a hood rat in the brain. She's a hood rat in mind. You know what I'm saying? Like, her mind is still only as big as this top. So, the only thing that a brain this size can focus on is the size of a nigga pockets, the size of a nigga rims, and the size of a nigga dick. Other than that, I don't give a fuck. She don't give a fuck. This, a hood rat, her mind says, even if that nigga do got AIDS, fuck it, I can wear a condom. Even if the new nigga do got AIDS, we went to the doctor, they gave him a pill, and I took it too. So, we don't gotta fuck with a condom. And that same fucking hood rat, when she catch the shit, she not gonna tell the nigga. The hood rat will even go out and purposely infect niggas. Because in the mind of a hood rat, it's misery love company by a million. I love company so much that I'm going to go make my company. You know, that's that bitch that's around you and she ain't got no old man. You got an old man. So she take her time to follow your old man around all day long, take pictures, investigate and shit like that to show you that he cheating so that now you can be just as, because she's miserable. She don't got nothing to uh, occupy her time with. That's why she follows your nigga around and, and does all this shit trying to prove to you that he's cheating. You don't give a fuck. What I'm trying to tell you is You've now done that on the largest scale possible. NBA young boy, let me talk to you, dog. I, I I might go back into it. I might fucking not. Let me talk to you, dog. I know that you didn't. I know that you did not put this shit out. I know that you did not put this shit out. You a young street nigga, and this is why the fuck they took you off the streets because they wanted to exploit you. And I truly apologize for having to do this. But I've been attempting to talk to you for a while. And because you've been living your life and the people around you have been telling you, fuck with that nigga saying, because we have got the confirmation that NBA Youngboy does watch my video. He said fuck me and everything. It's fine. Cause I'm just, I'm pretty much that OG nigga on your block. I ain't got, you know what I'm saying? You the nigga riding through. And I'm just the OG nigga going to work every day. But I'm trying to put something in your mind. I'm the nigga that went to the feds. You know what I'm saying? Nigga came home and, you know, motherfucker tell a story about a nigga. But you know what I'm saying? A nigga ain't on no more. So when I was trying to tell you where you was headed, because I already been down that road, you wasn't hearing me because you still in that life. The same way an OG nigga tried to tell me. To slow down when I was in power. And I ain't listen. So I had to go do my time and come back home. Now I'm trying to let you know what's going on. But you couldn't hear me. You still got time though. The 
fuck was that, dog? Yeah. You still got time, though. Because herpes ain't the end of the world, but herpes also ain't curable. And the way you move, the way you move, you're not going to do what's necessary to get rid of that. Because in order to truly get rid of a man-made disease, which that is, AIDS, cancer, herpes, all this shit is man-made. You just within a pharmaceutical game. I'm gonna make the cure before I make the illness. I got the cure over here just in case any of my people catch it. The cure is here, but I have the sustainer here to where you will never be cured, but you won't die from it. You'll still have the symptoms, but they won't get worse. You'll have outbreaks. That's why this look. You will have outbreaks, but it won't kill you. Without this medicine, your life gonna be something fierce until it ends. But if any of my people get herpes, they no longer have it. And that's the motherfucking deal you sign when you sign with them white folks. When you sign that deal with them white folks, you made a deal with the devil. And as I told y'all before, the first rule in making a deal with the devil is don't. They took you off the street because it was nothing special about you. They could have picked you, G Money, Scotty Kane, uh, uh, Fred O'Bain, just any, Mr. Kane, any one of them niggas. There's plenty of niggas down there they could have signed and made them into NBA young boy. Because it wasn't your music that touched nobody no differently. You just another nigga saying choppers, dope, bitches, struggle. Everybody says that. Everybody says that. And that's what they did to y'all. This is why I'm here. The reason why I'm in the hip-hop lane is because I need you to realize what they're doing to us. I understand that this rap shit runs the black community. When I say black community, I mean as a whole. There are plenty of good people who go to church and all that. That's fine. I don't know about y'all. I was never really part of that. What I was part of is right here in this world where you go in the club and you might just, when a, nigga, when a DJ play a certain song, it's time to fight. And if you're not about to fight, you need to leave. I come from that part. I come from the part where you in the car riding to a certain type of music, you're going to be doing a certain type of thing. I keep telling y'all, when that future, when that Pluto came out, I went to Metro twice. That shit had me feeling like I was just the, I'm trying the greatest, I, and I'm trying, I was just fucking with, no, you know what I'm saying? I just feel like I was the greatest trapper of all time. I'm talking real street nigga when you go to the CD man and get you a mix CD for a dollar and just ride and you need that CD though. The CD man get rich. And see y'all might not know about that because y'all this ain't y'all life so I can't really speak to y'all. I wouldn't know how to talk. So I'm talking to the mom because this music shit, it really do run us. So what I want to talk about, what, I, what I'm into is... I know I couldn't, I can't change this game from the outside. I couldn't change this shit from just being a, 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 a someone talking on the outside. I had to get inside this shit so I can speak and voice what's happening in the street. What's really going on? Maybe you haven't seen it, but now you're getting a whiff of what's going on. Because through your ignorance, through your, your, uh, your blindness, you've been blinded. By the lights and, and, and the loud music and the dope. You stumbled across one of the three deadly sins in the street. Death. Jail. STDs. As a street nigga, 
That's all you have to look forward to. If you're a street nigga and you haven't caught any of those yet, you need to get out. But if you don't believe me, keep riding. But, young boy, you can turn this situation around or you can just be that nigga, just that, that, but you can't be that no more because you finna find out what's going on, dog. You really finna find out what's going on. That type of information, you finna see how low down the devil is. That label is about to do some shit to you that you just couldn't imagine. Because half of your motherfucking fan base was females. And believe it or not, that female fan base secured that male fan base. As an artist, Plies was a the best of both worlds. Hoes liked them. Street niggas respected them. T.I. Hoes like what they say is um, uh, hoes want to fuck them, niggas want to be them. That's, that's what an idol is. That's what an idol is. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, hoes can look at them and the niggas don't think he saw. It's a hard balance. Because it's either like you a Trey Songz nigga or you a goddamn real trail. I, 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 I'm, I'm having trouble finding a name because I don't, I don't really know of no real trap street nigga that's real, real gangster. I guess, you know, because it's like, who the fuck can you name? You can name some niggas, but you know what I'm saying? I'm not glorifying it. Because all the real trap street niggas is really locked up right now. Because they showed you there was real trap street niggas. And they'll really do what it take. Finesse two times. Bobby Smyrtle. Tay K. Them is niggas that you make up. I say finesse two times. I'll consider that nigga a gangster. That's a real, he a real street nigga to the core. And they fucked him up on some shit. So you see that you don't get no reward for being what the streets make you into. Or with the, the fans, fuck the street. There's no reward for being an authentic street nigga. Because as soon as you reach the point of validation, the judicial system is going to use that exact same validation to crucify you in court. This is when we get into lyrics. This is when we get into... Um, your, your, your criminal history, um, your music videos. This is the weapon that was used in this crime. But that's real nigga shit, though. Who are you? Are you BG? You Gucci Mane? See Murder? Soldier Slim? I'm telling you that and I'm trying to tell you in a way that you will understand. The trap does not and is not limited to selling dope. The trap is not limited to selling dope in the street. It's been extended. The trap is now anything that a white man controls. I don't. I'm. I'm sorry. I, I just. I'm. I'm sleeping and shit like that. I'm sleeping. White supremacists control because anything that a white supremacist controls is to the detriment of the black man. You can't believe. That a white supremacist would make a system in which a black man is going to succeed. That's not logical. 
So how is it that you can believe that all of these fucking record labels are signing niggas like this? I'm off NBA Youngboy, but I want you to look at him now. A nigga like NBA Youngboy. Tell me what's empowering about him. Tell me what about him you would want inside of your son or your daughter. What part of him? Just, just let me know. Give me an attribute. Give me a characteristic that he exemplifies that you will want your child to have in today's society. Tell me why a white man chose that motherfucker to lead. Why didn't they choose uh, Nick Grant? Why didn't they choose Big Crip? Why is uh, your boy um, Childish Gambino considered uh, alternative hip hop? Where's B.O.B. at? Why isn't that popular? Is it because nobody wants to hear it? Or is it because that's not, what, that's not what's being promoted? I have to talk to y'all. I gotta talk to you. Like, I'm trying to explain to you where you're headed. You don't have to like this shit, whatever. I'm telling you, if you're a real street nigga, you're gonna come, you're gonna come face to face with a situation where you resent that title. Believe me. If you're a real street nigga, it's gonna come a time in the very near future where you resent that title. Where someone calling you a real street nigga is not a fucking compliment. And the trap is to get you used to being called that. To where you can't tell when the line is crossed. Like it's the whole fucking point of all of this shit is to fuck up your vision. To where you cannot tell where the fuck you stepping. What's good, what's bad.